made up of sides from the southeastern region of Sydney, and they're taking the Warriors who are northwest. So literally polar opposites, northwest yeah. versus southeast. Um, so this is going to be a real cross town rivalry, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. So there's the Warriors on screen in their red and black strip, and the Orcas just off there receiving their final words of instruction and also inspiration from their coaches. A bit of uh, nerves on the line here, no doubt. It is a quarter final, so it's uh, make or break stuff here to continue through to the big one this afternoon. Sees the Orcas now making their way out onto the field. Have you got much of an insight into these two teams? Um, in, in, would, uh, you know, they both finished fourth and fifth, so um, it's a, it looks like it's on yeah, paper fairly even. So, so there was no uh, pools in this division, and but these two teams haven't actually played against each other, so there'll be no no prehistoric game against each other this tournament. So it'll be good to see what what each team throws at each other. Okay, so it looks like Northwest will the Warriors will be kicking off and defending the southern end of CX Stadium. The breeze has picked up out of the south. And you've um, been making your way around the, the venue this morning. What's it like outside at the moment? Uh, it's not too bad. The wind definitely has picked up. Yesterday, we had a few tents actually uh, come down from the wind. Um, so today has slowed down a bit, but as you can see by the flags out there, it is starting to pick up. Um, so kickers should definitely be looking out to use that to their advantage. So we'll be the Warriors with that breeze at their back and I'll get a chance to kick off here and potentially pin the Orcas down. But we just do have a delayed proceedings at the moment with the uh, extra time going on in an adjoining field. So should also mention that um, for the tournament this weekend, uh, the inclusion of a, a live scoring app as well on Sports Fix. So if you download the Sports Fix app, on your smartphone and then search Oztag, you'll be able to find all the pool results and ongoing results for this weekend's Australian Junior Oztag Championships here at CX Stadium. So Sports Fix, download that on your smartphone and uh, you'll be able to search Oztag. And the app itself is used by quite a number of different sporting bodies. So if you search Oztag, then you'll be able to find the national tournament for the juniors and see how your team of interest is progressing through the weekend and hats and sunglasses are the order of the day as we look into the crowd once more who are here in good numbers and as is often the case Cam with uh, the juniors we get a lot of very experienced parents in the crowd and uh, there's a lot of current and former NRL players uh, there around. Are, there are. There are a few. Uh, you can definitely tell uh, where all the younger kids are running towards and you can see the likes of Adam Reynolds um, who was here um, this morning. I seen him and a few of the girls were just loving it, getting photos with him. He's such a good guy and you know he's obviously here to come watch and spectate um, but you can kind of never get away with it when you have a name like that. So Yeah, exactly. And these are friends uh, giving us away from the stand. <laughs> Um, I believe Trent Barrett's up here as well. Yeah, um, Johnny Morris. Yeah, Andrew Ryan. Uh, of course, had great success with the Bulldogs before that Parramatta. Um, yeah, so there's quite a number of uh, NRL players wandering around, both current and former, because no doubt uh, Oztag is such a, a good sport for their, their children to be involved with. And whether you're a former NRL player or... Just someone wants to get out there and, and have, a, have a go and have a run and like these youngsters in the 16s who might have aspirations for bigger and better things. Um, yeah. But you, whether it, that's your aspiration, whether it's just about keeping fit, Oztag is yeah. such a great place to do that. Yeah, it is such a great sport. It definitely, um, as we move forward and a lot of parents try and avoid the, the heavy contact of rugby league with their kids, uh, Oztag is a great sport to fit in the middle where kids still get to play the, the rugby league style but with the, avoiding the contact. Um, so it has definitely grown a lot. You know, over the last five years, the amount of nationals teams that come down um, is, it's almost doubled in the last 10 years, I think. So it, it's... It's growing. It's definitely growing. Um, it's in a lot of states now. And I believe in the senior uh, tournament in three weeks' time, there's actually a Western Australia team coming, I believe. 
uh, which will, will be different. It's different for the sport. It's different different players to play against, and it's just great all around. So fans enjoying the uh, the party vibe here, and uh, t- I've seen some very colourful Oztag umbrellas as well that are being used for sunshades. Yeah. Um, the multi-purpose, of course, if it's inclement weather, it keeps you dry, but it keeps the sun off as well. Yeah. All right, so we're not too far away for a kickoff in this quarterfinal. The boys' 16s, Warriors to kick off and run from right to left on your screen. And a very warm welcome wherever you may be tuned into the live stream on the Oztag Facebook page. We've got plenty of international viewers as well as the local fans and friends and family. Oh, um, great kick. Great and he's forced to knock on to... That was a very difficult kick to defuse, so the Warriors will go straight on the attack here. So Jamal will play the ball back for the Warriors, and they go across the left-hand side. They want to strike early here, the boys from the northwestern region of Sydney, as they come across to the right-hand side now. Great ball. Looking to slice away through there was Sadie, but tag was made, and he's trapped about 12 metres out from the... Orcas oh. line, ball hits the deck, so they've diffused the situation there, the Orcas. Little unforced error by the Warriors, and that early pressure that they created has just dwindled away. Yeah, it has. So what can the Orcas do here, coming out of their own red zone? Hopefully the kickers here start to use that breeze, as we can see that the wind has picked up. So Ballard plays it back, there there's go. an Great early kick. Great use of the wind. This one's got a bit of travel on it, though. Not sure if it's going to stop in time, and it doesn't. So we've been talking throughout the coverage that there's been a real lack of rain and moisture on the field over the last few months. So it is very dry and very hard, and that aids the ball to just keep rolling, doesn't it? Yeah, for sure. It hasn't hasn't rained all here all weekend. It's been a really dry track. Some of the fields out the back um, so incredibly hard, and in here it gets looked after really well in the middle of the CEX stadium so credit to the ground maintenance men Jida there goes for a little scoot just short of the halfway line so Warriors now looking nimble with the ball at hand Turkamani got a ball away picked up Howat and he'll be tagged about a metre inside of the western touch line so the short side they go again little grabber kick there regathered the tag was quickly made on there, Turkamani. So they come across to the middle, change of direction, back to the short side. Now Turkamani there, runs at the line, beats one, then turns the ball back on the inside. Picked up Jamal, who grabbed a kick through there. They couldn't clean it up. And it's going to be a knock-on ruled against the Warriors. So they're chanting their arm early here. Yeah, for sure. The Warriors keep going back into the ruck here. So the Orcas' defence need to keep tight in the middle and, and defuse that situation. The markers are doing really well so far. So the Orcas haven't really seen the other end of the field in these opening couple of minutes of play, so they'll need to control this set. Drollick goes back to the mark and plays it. And little stoppage here, not on the mark, so that's the second tag, and the Orcas now slowly advancing up towards the halfway line. Here's a missed tag, an opportunity to go into open space, running away from there is O'Callaghan, and he'll score a try. Well, it came against almost the run of play there. The Orcas seemed to be pinned inside their own half, and then that missed tag led to a golden opportunity. Great play there. The, the ball player just held it up that one extra second, that extra step, who created that gap. And number four, just absolutely blistering pace. Here we go. He's done a switch here, and he's just held it up that one extra step to get past that marker straight through. And blistering pace, they tried in vain to catch him, but they couldn't quite make the distance. And it was O'Callaghan who got away and scored. Mogra Bell chased very valiantly, but couldn't get there in time. And it is the Orcas, almost against the run of play. 1-0, but here's the Warriors now looking to return so quickly with the Ihai. Tagged about nine metres short of the halfway line. El Kamani there plays it back. Oh. And now Jida with the ball plays it back for the Warriors. Some one out stuff at the moment, but they're making good 10 metre gains on each and getting within 
try scoring range now as they loft the ball out to the left a little grubber kick there's been diffused picked up there by the orcas who now bring it back up towards the halfway line the warriors need to be just a little bit more patient here they're doing a lot of kicks to themselves trying to get that that early try that response but if they just play patient here they've definitely dominated field possession so walters plays at a meter inside of warriors territory now gray goes for a run but a penalty inside the 10 so this will be a welcome relief for the Orcas. They haven't really had the football down here at all. Their try came from within their own half. So Neville now with the Orcas. Two metres inside of Warriors territory. Centre field they go. Way to the left is where they're shaped at the Same moment. Play. Uh, pass just Different hit the result. deck there. Picked up by the Warriors who now go back on the attack. With an incisive run downfield there by Rashid. Across the left they go this time. And... Chahal there will be tagged for the Warriors. They've got numbers stacked to the short side, but there's more blue jerseys there to meet them. So this time they change their point of attack and go through the middle corridor. El Kamani there will be tagged about six metres out from the Orcas line. A little show and go at the line there. An opportunity through the middle for Rashid, but he'll be stopped on the last, about two metres out from the Orcas line. Change of direction. Ball back to Jida. Puts a grabber kick there through, and it won't be good enough. Seven tackle set there. They just need to be patient, the Warriors. They're definitely chancing their arm and, and throwing what they can, but just some of these kicks are just not coming off. It's yeah, certainly a different style of play between these two sides at the moment. As you mentioned, there's a few players out there for the Warriors who are trying to create some individual brilliance. It just hasn't bounced the way they'd be looking for. And at the moment, the Orcas have been able to play a bit more of a structured game and so far, thanks to a missed tag, they lead by 1-0. It's a little bit of work here to do, though. The Yorkers coming out of their own end. Switch back. Parari got a ball free. Picked up Neville. And he'll be tagged about a metre inside of the eastern touchline. Just nine short of the halfway. So the Yorkers kick early. Isn't looking for a 50-10. Don't know if it's got the required distance. And it won't be ruled a 50-10. But nonetheless, they find the sideline and a chance to set their defensive line good field position here if the Orcas can keep him in their own half um, I think they might be off to swing momentum here even though they're up 1-0 I still think that Warriors have the edge in this game so far so comments from Cam Lloyd in the commentary box for this one Michael Golikov here calling all the action as Mugra Bell there will be tagged about 18 short of the halfway line just again going through that middle passage at the moment Jamal there with a good little run to Edge closer to the halfway. Kick there. Deflected again by the Orcas. Regather there. Picked up there by Gray, who pins his ears back and's going to score a try. Well, they've been long range tries for the Orcas. They've got two on the board now. Warriors need to keep their heads up from that. The two tries from the Orcas. The first one was a well structured play, but that one's just a ricochet from a kick once again. Um, I think Warriors just need to turn up here and, and keep, just be patient. The tries will come for the Warriors. So here's a replay of the action. The ball takes a deflection off Gray, and then he had the presence of mind. It's set up beautifully for him, and he just pinned those ears back, as I mentioned, and scored in the corner to take us to 2-0. The Orcas leading the Warriors. We've got 7 minutes and 10 seconds left to yeah. halftime. There's that wind. It's gone sailing over the dead ball line, so a penalty to the Warriors on the halfway to get us back underway here. So not the way the Orcas were looking to come back after scoring points it is the boys 16th quarter final here for the 2023 junior oztag australian championships of course the the boys 16 to some of these players as ken was mentioning before are also pressing for under 19 selection so a real chance for them to show their ability here in front of the representative stage rashid plays it back Short. Oh, what a ball. They've got they a number out the right here. They should be the try for the Warriors that they've been searching for and diving over to score. They finally get on the board. So a much-needed try to the Warriors. They just had that good opportunity out to the right side. The numbers were there, and they created the overlap. And in the end, it was Mograbel who goes over to score the opener for the Warriors. That was great patience there. Once again, if, if they really just play this patient, great hold there and just eyes up footy, draw and pass, draw and pass. That's how the Warriors will get over on this one. So some 
good passing at the line there, created the opportunity. A little short kick there, but picked up there by the Orcas. So they lead by 2-1 now, the Orcas over the Warriors. A bit of a question being asked of the referee there, appealing for a penalty. And the man in the middle says, no, play on. And now the Orcas just have a little bit of pressure. Still leading by one, but they know the Warriors finding some of their groove now. But at the moment, it's ball for the Orcas as they work it out from their own territory through Smith. Tagged about eight metres out from the halfway line. Mintoff will be tagged on the last five, short of halfway. So can they produce something here, the Orcas? They go down the short side, kick through from the middle, takes a deflection, dived on there, lost back by the Orcas, and now penalty to the Warriors. So what's happened there, Mick, is the attacking team can't dive on a kick. So whilst he put the kick in, he can't retreat the ball by diving. All right, so a uh, yeah, good ruling there, technical one. I think that they perhaps were thinking that they dive backwards and maybe that was okay, but no, it was still a dive at the end of the day. So that was the call the referee made. And now the Warriors back inside of Orca's territory and quickly making... Good field position down the right-hand side. Alzamir plays it back. Now with El Kamani. They've got them travelling back at the moment, the Orcas. Same play. But this will be the last here for the Warriors now. Only five metres out from the Orcas line. Numbers across to the right. Ball hits the deck. Picked up there by El Kamani. Grubbers through and picked up again there by the Orcas, but it's going to be called back. Won't be a length of the field job on that occasion, Kim. I think there was a, a, maybe a knock-on ruled. And yeah. war the uh, Warriors will have to set the defence again. So the Orcas, they haven't had a lot of attacking football, have they? No, no they haven't, Mick. I've noticed with the Orcas, they're starting to play a little bit, a little bit faster now and, and using the width of the field, which if they can spread out this Warriors defence, they, they might be able to get around them here. Ballard. Tagged at half a metre inside of the Western Touch. Ten short of the halfway. Here's a grab, a kick through. Plenty of chases on it as well. Draws the full back, gets the pass away. Still offloading. And the tag was made. Just didn't quite have the speed of getting that ball away. It was good defence by the Warriors nonetheless. And now we see the Orcas spread it out to the right-hand side. They've got numbers again. Oh, intercept here for the Warriors. Well, we're going to go draw all level here. A runaway try against the runner play. And Rashid there will go over and score in the corner. He did well to sneak into the defensive line and, and pluck it out and run away. Three, three of the four tries here, all long-range efforts. Um, both teams definitely definitely throwing what they can and chancing their arms. I, I do feel the momentum has shifted a little bit here for the Yorkers with their, their change of style, with shifting it wide. So there's the replay, and as I said, Rashid was just there sneaking around in the defensive line, able to take the intercept, and he was never really headed from there and takes us to two all. So it's back to game on. We've just got under two and a half minutes left in this first half. Nice little trap there for the Orcas to bring the football back off the kickoff. Earlier try scorer Bailey Gray there plays it back. So this is the boys 16's quarter final. So high stakes here. Nice little offload at the line. They go across the left. Players looming up in support. Can't beat the tag on that occasion, so Mintoff was stopped there just short of the line. Always oh, through. Pappas beats the first, beats the second. Still going Pappas. Thought there was a short grab there, and referee called it that way as well. So a penalty here to the Orcas. This is really their first opportunity to mount some try line pressure here, the Orcas. As mentioned, their tries have come from long range. Little shot the line here, and the referee says the tag was made. So, Drollop there was stopped just short of the line. Great Bit number of, counting there from the Warriors, just yeah. slide in D there. Heavy traffic, wasn't it? There was no way through. So this time they think they'll go out to the left and they quickly slide, but so did the Warriors' defence. So things just slowing down a touch. What can the Orcas manufacture here on the opposition try line? This is the last. Looks like they'll go left here. No, they go right the short side. And the tag was made, but they've got a penalty here. 
referee's called the winger offside there and he's just injecting himself slightly into that play. So, penalty there. Expensive penalty on the last. So, the Orcas now with a full Shoots set. Again. And just Ooh. couldn't get the ball out to the unmarked winger. But they've still got plenty of tags up their sleeve now. Warriors need to defend solidly here. Playing it back there was Drollet. Short. Way to Gray, looking for his double. Can't find a way through the middle. So again, they line up through the middle through Walters. He takes a tag. Mintoff at acting up. Goes himself. Mintoff oh, dives shit. over and gets the try for the Orcas. He's pulled his shorts off fully. <laughs> well, hopefully he's wearing his uh, Sunday best under there because uh, he is absolutely being depanced in his try scoring <laughs> effort there. But he'll take that any other week if it means he gets the boys home. For sure. There's the siren. The so let's watch it unfold. We might have to uh, we might have to censor the try and replay. And there he goes. Short's gone. But uh, it was well covered. Some Lit frustration there from Jamal, as you can see, pulling someone's pants off and not their tag. He's just yeah, right on right on the siren there too to give Orcas an edge to go into the second half. So the Orcas managed to manufacture a try on the siren to maintain a one-try lead at the break. Both, well, let's watch the, the replays for the first half. And it was the first try coming to the Orcas on the back of that kick. Gray trapped, scrapped, and just blew them away. Great play here. Just held it up that way, Stefan, and just eyes up footy, draw a pass, draw a pass. Another runaway here. Yeah, this was the uh, the length of the field job. Run the, got the intercept, and then it was Rashid there who was never headed from that intercept attempt. And here's the last <laughs> try that took the uh, Orcas back to the front. Pants off Sunday is what they're going to be calling this play. There they go, but the try is down. And so <laughs> there's the frustration, as you mentioned, from Jamal. Um, who was very disappointed that he got all shorts and no tag. So the Warriors receiving their halftime instructions. It's, both these teams are playing a, a very different brand of football and it, it's going to be a real interesting second half. 3-2 um, the Warriors over the Orcas. So it'll be interesting to see which style of football proves to be the, the winning style because they've gone th about things quite differently. Yeah, for sure. The Orcas in the, in the back end of that second half definitely definitely changed their style and started shifting it wide using that win to their advantage. And um, here we go to start the second half. All right, so it's a Warriors. The Orcas, I beg your pardon, we've, I've thrown a dummy to the scoreboard. Uh, it's actually Orcas three, Warriors two. So we'll flip that around. Um, Orcas three and the Warriors two. And that's about right. So thank you to our scoreboard attendant. And uh, we're back underway here with the kickoff Great downfield. Great kick. Great kick. Yeah, they forced the error here. So it's going to be a line dropout. That, that Orcas uh, kickoff was like a, a missile. Very difficult assignment there to defuse, and unfortunately for the Warriors, they didn't come up with it. So they're going to go for a fairly highly weighted uh, drop kick. It's going to find the sideline. So they've turned what was a not a great result into a very good result for them. Should have been patient there and not touched it, but <clears throat> spare the moment. You just try your best and hope for it, <laughs> for but sure. didn't quite pay off there for the uh, Orcas. So now the Warriors, after that little unforced error from the kickoff. Let's see if they keep going through the ruck here. Way sure. to the left side, they go Great Rashid ball. there again. They were looking for a second. Tried to find a way through, but can't. And eventually he'll be tagged about eight metres out from the Orcas line. They're all stagged out, sta stretched out to the right-hand side. Little doubles, double dribble and <laughs> nearly got <laughs> over. He spun around in circles so much I got dizzy. But now we see the ball with Jowett. Tag 
Seven metres out from the Orcas line. Away to the right side they go. Bit of patience. Little grab a kick there. They didn't have the six patience you're calling for, but they earned a six more nonetheless. So across to Rashid. He just takes a settler for the Warriors. Want to be next to score. He and this could be an opportunity for them. But just short of the line. So Alamedine will be tagged about six out from the Orcas line. Rashid again. He's been threatening today. Yeah, he has. He's really trying to create something on every play. He's a, one of the X-Factor men for the Warriors side. Now, Turkamani will be tagged five metres out from the Orcas line on the fifth. So a cut-out pass, and then they come back down to the short side. Still alive for the Warriors. Grab a kick for the in goal, and they should be able to bring it back out of the field of play here, the Orcas. Just. So they didn't get a try, but they got the next best result, the, the Warriors. Big, big defensive set here from the Warriors. Needed uh, the kick out of this end will be, prove to be quite tough, I think. And they've got to be anticipating an early kick too, because when teams are trapped down in here, that's often a tactic you'll use to get out of trouble. Mm -hmm. So we've got a winger dropping back on the western side just to anticipate a potential early kick, but that then creates an overlap. So here we go now, the Orcas in an open down space. Sideline. Down the sideline they go. He's got it. And He's it's gonna be Homer who gets the try in the corner. Well, I saw that unfolding because the Warriors player drifted back anticipating an early kick, which created the space that led to the try. Yeah, for sure. Once again, Orcas just spreading the ball out. They've de they've definitely in the last 10 minutes of play just absolutely thrown the ball around and definitely capitalised on a few of their efforts. It's one of those you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't type moments there for the Warriors. I thought it was smart to have a, a player dropping back yeah, for the I kick. Yeah, I agree. Let's see it unfold here. And there's the... The way they were able to capitalise and use the numbers there with Pahona to go through and score the Warriors fourth. Uh, I beg your pardon, the Orcas fourth. And it's now the Orcas four leading the Warriors two. I wouldn't write the Warriors out of this. I think if they can get some good ball, stay patient, I think they might be off to dwindle their way back into this and maybe have an inaugural um, drop off here. So the Warriors up towards the halfway line, but it is the fourth. So they elect to go for an early kick here. It's a nicely weighted one for the corner. And great kick, great chase. Ooh. Just managed to be cleaned up at the back there by the Orcas, but they're right there pinned on their own territory. And the troops are back, slow to get back there for the Orcas as well. So Warriors looking for a very big defensive set here. The Orcas just need to play some safety footy and there's a tag well a tag attempt gone wrong got the shorts and gave away a penalty so the Yorkers now take full advantage of that with a full set already eyeing off the halfway line Pappas plays it nine meters short now Monkhouse will be tagged five meters from the center stripe a little grabber kick through. Referee says play on cam. Thought it was questionable. Then the pass on the outside, and they're going to get another one here, the Orcas. Very controversial that. I thought the kick chase there was offside, but nevertheless, play to the ref's whistle. Great support there from the try scorer. And it was Neville who got the try for the Orcas. And uh, in his try scoring celebration, booted it to North Coffs Harbour. So the referee says Look go at back. Very, very marginal, but play to the ref's whistle. Great try there. Well, our camera angle wasn't ideally placed to see if it was onside or offside on the kick, but it was, as you say, it was very close call. The referee had a tough one to make. He said it was good enough. And now the scoreboard is getting away from the Warriors. Yeah. They were down by two at the start of this game, so... I think if they just hold composure, they might be able to wiggle their way back in the next eight or so minutes. So if you're the Orcas here, obviously you don't have to be trying to score on every play, but 
you can't shut up shop just yet either. No, I wouldn't be packing up. I'd still be going with the same game plan, spreading it wide. They're definitely finding gaps in the Warriors' defensive line when playing like that. So this is good valuable metres being made by the Warriors who need to score a stack of tries in quick succession. Still plenty of time to do it though. Turkomani. Go straight through. Late tag. And he's been interfered with as well. So it's going to be a penalty. A good call by the referee. Was denied a chance to get to the ball. So they'll get a penalty here. And a full set for the Orcas to absorb. So Turkomani to take the tap. Oh. oh, it gets a try here. It's been awarded. Well, Turkomani was just going to think I'll take a quick settler and, and get to play the ball. But there was just a real misread in defence there by the Orcas. And you'll never score an easier try. Certainly not. I think, I think the momentum shift here could be massive. And I think if the Warriors can capitalise and get a good kick off here... Well, I was just expecting this to be a little settler and probably Tugamani thought as well and then he couldn't believe his eyes. The, the try line was wide open. So now we see the uh, Orcas in the open space here. Oh. Well, here goes uh, Pappas and just when they thought they might be having a chance Great here, Great the Orcas tag. looking set to, oh, there's a big entanglement here. I was going to say, the Orcas look set to put this one beyond doubt. And now they're going to give a, away a penalty in, in possession, are they? No, the referee just said, settle things down, boys. All right, so nail-biting stuff here. The Orcas oh. nearly found a try out wide and then lost it and then the push in the back. So tensions are starting to flare here in the boys' 16s. For sure. A gift voucher has been handed in with a so the Warriors still just under six minutes left to go. They're not out of this one yet. 5-3 the score. Orcas over the Warriors. It is the boys 16's quarterfinal. Michael Golikov in commentary with Cam Lloyd joining me in this one. And Cam keeps saying don't roll off the Warriors just yet. They need to really execute well here. Tukamani there. Tagged 15 short of the halfway line. Short ball. Alamedin got a pass away to Jada, who will play the ball back. Alamedin there kicking for the. Oh, it's been dropped backwards there, but the referee says it's knocked on. And I don't have too much of a trouble with that call. I thought I might have gone backwards in my initial look at it, but the Warriors will benefit with a full set inside opposition territory. And the ball not played on the mark, so just lose a few seconds here. Vital time for the Warriors that they can't afford to be giving away. Jamal. I think the Warriors need to try in this set if they're hopeful to even get a win before we go into extra time. So wrap around. They send a cross field to Alasamir. And then a chance here for the Warriors in the corner. They're going over to school through Magrabel. And he gets the try, so... It's not over till it's over. It's certainly not. Ihab Mugrabel gets the Warriors one try closer. And a mountain of time now with only a one try difference. Of course, one try is just to draw level. But it's well within reach now for the Warriors. So the Orcas, having enjoyed a comfortable lead, now find themselves needing to be very good about everything they do once more. If I was the Orcas here, I'd, I'd still be playing the game, the, the, the flow of footy that I'd want to be playing. Long kicks, spread it wide. Kick took a deflection, regathered here by the Orcas, but it will be a six more, but the tag was made. And they, they must have heard your instructions there, Cam, because you said long passes and kicks, and well, that's what they tried to do. The kick was diffused. It still came back to the Orcas, though, and got a six more. Shifting it once again. Great kick through kick. the middle corridor. Good chase on it as well. Then they offload at the line. Jump there. Good pass away to Walters, but there's been some heavy contact. 
and down on the ground is Brazrabachi. There's some concern for him at the moment. He is moving, but he was knocked very solidly in that collision. He's making his way back to the bench unassisted, so that's a good sign for him. And it'll be a ball to the Warriors, though, with Jida just crossing the centre stripe. The tag was made just short of it, so he goes back to the mark. Now Rashid back out there. Can he prove the difference in the closing stages? Jamal. Away to Turkamani. Couldn't get past the tag attempt. So now Chabal goes through. Early Great kick. There's kick. good chase on it too. Little tap forward oh. there. Not sure if it was okay. Referee says it's a knock on, I think. That ref's happy with it. No, he's going to award a try. We're drawn level here. here we go. Well, geez, I'm glad I'm not a referee because there was that little contest for the ball. It was knocked forward. I didn't know if it went forward from one play to another. We might get an opportunity to see it on the replay. In fact, we will. So this is the crucial point. It was his hand. Great call, sir. Great call. Well, that was a tough call to make. The referee got it right, and we're drawn all at 5 all, with 1 and 50 to go in this second half, and we're headed towards extra time if the score doesn't change from here. What a fight back for the Warriors. Look to be Oh, he's down and out at one stage. It. But the Orcas are still replying. Good run downfield there by Clemson. What? Got through the oh. uh, attempted tag and Clemson's has scored. Referee points the spot and the Orcas are back in front where they need to be. Well, Clemson looked to be contained about three different times in that little run. Great eyes up footy from the marker on this one, uh, from the dummy half on this one. Goes to the sub bench for a well deserved break. Here it is. There's the ball away to Clemson. Looked like he was stopped there, then kept going. And they missed him and eventually scored. So the Orcas now, with just under a minute, are in the box seat. Can the Warriors produce something special? Last attacking set here. And they've got to do it from long range. The kicks need to be good if that's the play they want to try their hand at. At the moment, though, a little grabber kick there through. They should win the race of the ball. He's Second kick at it as well. Turkamani in open space. It's going to be a socket to the line. And dived on there by the defenders. They're entitled to do. And that could be the difference in the end. Orcas keen to wind the clock down. I mean, they don't have a visual sign of the clock like we do. But it is only a matter of seconds left to go. And it seems as though the Orcas will be advancing. They just need to hold on to the football here. And uh, the tag's been made. So valuable seconds again being eaten up. And there's the siren. They don't need to do anything here special. They'll just take the tag and they will advance the Orcas. They led... The majority of it. Referee's and, called a penalty here. Okay. Just a bit of late contact. So we're not over yet. But the Orcas don't really need to do anything too extravagant. You just run up and take the tag, wouldn't you? Yeah. And that's what they'll do. So a bit of restlessness there at the end. But in the it is the Orcas who have won six five over the Warriors. And uh, still some tensions fraying at the conclusion of this one which is disappointing but in the end it was a very hotly contested battle and the Orcas have come out on top the Warriors though you've got to give full credit to them they, they were sure. trailing by three at one stage and they, they managed were. to fight their way back into it they certainly did there I thought, I thought we were going to be having an extra time effort, but that last try, just great eyes up footy from the dummy half to, to lead the Orcas the way. So it is the Orcas who will advance through the semi-finals. Commiseration to the Warriors. I know you'll be disappointed with the result, but full credit to the way you're stuck in the contest. And let's watch some of the highlights from this boys' 16th quarterfinal. Again, that shift. And that was where we talked in the action where the Warriors had dropped back to anticipate a kick, but it opened the corridor for Hona to 
speed down the sideline. And this was another grubber kick there that was well executed. They got the ball out in the corner. But they weren't done yet, the Warriors. The, the scoreboard had got away from them and this was a freakish strike. <laughs> Take a money, couldn't believe it. And then another one in the corner through Mogra Bell. That was when it was really game on. This is the one from Mogra Bell here. The tap forward gets over and scores. Good call from the referee. And this was the final try that sealed the deal for the Orcas. Clemson there. Bit of work to do, but he found passage to the try line to score the decisive try for the Orcas. So once more congratulations to the Orcas.